Hey everybody and welcome back to Embird. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to talk about lettering in Embird. There's a couple ways of doing lettering. I'm going to show you my favorite way of doing it. So how do you start? Where do you start? The first thing you need to do is go up here. Now there's two letter A's right here. Which one do you use? These are for the built-in fonts, which are really good. They are specifically designed for embroidery. So as long as you don't make them too small, they will have a wonderful stitch out and look even better. The other one is for true type fonts. Now, what is the difference between the two? One has been digitized each letter, each stitch for embroidery and this one is auto digitized. Now, I'm not saying that the true type fonts won't work at all. They will, but you have to bear in mind that they are auto digitized. So you just have to make sure you check them out. Some work amazing and some don't work at all. So make sure you look at it. Today, we're going to talk about the built in fonts. Um, they work really well. So I clicked on that one and then you place it down. Now look, I have purchased some alphabets. Alphabet 13 is probably one of my favorite ones. So let's do O M L loves Embird. And that looks absolutely fantastic. So you just type it in and there's a lot of controls in here if you look uh, i'm going to zoom in just a little bit if you look here you can tilt it by pushing dragging i'm left click and dragging this one you can do it the other way here no this makes it longer i guess it's not going to do anything look at that Ooh. So you can have perfectly slanted lettering. Isn't that amazing? I love it. So when you're done, generate. And look how pretty the stitching is. Let's make that a little bit bigger. I think we're a little bit small here. Look at that. There we go. Generate everything. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous stitching? Now look, you can tell that these have been properly digitized for embroidery. Nice closest join there. Look at the S, look at the short stitches and the long stitches and another little quick join here, but everything is in the right layer. Like this is behind and this is uh, in front so it looks better and it's all done continuously and I think it looks absolutely fantastic uh, the other thing is if you want to make small adjustments like this I think this is really cool it will fix everything in that little jump stitch close connection is now a bit longer but it's still connected and I think that is a, a fantastic way to make all your lettering turn out really well. I think it's really great. If you wanted to make an adjustment, you right click and you go to edit text and you get back to where you started off with. So if you kind of get lost in it, then you can go back to what you were doing. And say I wanted it made straight again, let's straighten it out. Um, there's so many things you can do with lettering you can up here these are all drop down menus that you can use now these are showing how everything is going to be joined just going over it just quickly you can change the type of stitches you can change it see what happened when i click that isn't that amazing it's so easy and you can change the justification so i would like it centered thank you very much generate and there we go let's make this a little bit bigger because i'm i'm kind of working close up and small and let's generate this and see how we like it uh, let's go to 3d isn't that awesome i think that looks fantastic so anyways this is how you work with built-in lettering you have to purchase the built-in lettering from embird but it's not very expensive and to me it's worth it for the quality so that's how you do lettering here inside embird embroidery software thanks everyone for watching don't forget to subscribe to the ch channel 
and like this video if you want more. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.